So we're going to get started by using your seam ripper to take off all of the extra fabric that is sewn onto the old fabric. This is sewn on so you don't have to cut out uh, this extension piece out of your fabric and you just don't have to, you know, basically it's a little bit wasteful when you could just reuse the extension fabric. That's what I'll call it, the extension fabric that is already going to be attached to the old fabric. So I'm just taking this off and what you want to do is remember or take a picture of where um, you took these pieces off at. I definitely took a picture so I could remember. All right, and this is the seated part. So this is basically the fabric that's on the very front of the couch, and this is the fabric, the uh, mesh on top that goes onto the seat. And so I removed that, and now I'm going to start laying out the old fabric on top of my new fabric so I can pin it and then cut it out. And you can use any type of straight pins. I uh, personally don't like the ones with the little balls on them. I think they're too thin. So I just have regular straight pins. And I'm going to lay out my fabric and place the pins onto the fabric to hold it down to the new fabric. And just make sure that your old fabric is nice and smooth. So you don't end up overcutting or undercutting, which is probably the worst thing to do, undercutting your fabric and it'll be too short. And once you have all of your pieces that you have taken off the couch, you have all of them, you want to go ahead and start cutting them out. And make sure you get all the notches um, on the edge of the fabric as well. And I was doing a contrasting colored couch. So the back of the couch is going to be pink. And the rest will be like the tropical green print that I have. So it, once, you, once you have everything cut out, it's time to pretty much put the new pieces back onto the old extension pieces. Just use your push pins and you're going to just pin everything back and then you're going to sew it back on. So I definitely took a picture um, and I marked exactly where I took it off and where it was sewn previously. And now I'm just going to pin my old mesh onto my new fabric in the exact same location and then sew it together about on the 5 8 seam. And if your seam, and you can actually tell where your seam is supposed to be if you just look at the old um, like stitching holes in the old fabric, it'll tell you exactly where this old stitching used to be and you can sew right on top of that. But it's usually going to be about 5 eighths. Alright, and so now that, that I've um, put the mesh on, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, white extension pieces that are basically just used to staple to the wood. So like I said before, you don't have to use extra fabric or cut out extra fabric for this part. And I looked at my website, my phone is right there. I took a picture of the old way it was put together and I copied it and made sure that they went back to where they can't belong and I sewed them on. All right, so now this part was a tad tricky, but um, I basically took the old piece and I figured out where the new piece should meet um, in the crease of the arm of the couch. I guess that's a little complicated, but once you cut out your pieces, I guess I just missed that part. I just made sure that I lined it up exactly where the old piece was going with the other old pieces. So on the arm, um, just make sure that I matched it up. Like there, was, there usually would be like a little nook, but there wasn't one. So I just took my old piece and I took my new piece and just made sure that they met at the same exact place. And then I pinned the 
casing. This is where you do the sewing. Um, you pin your casing for the arm. And I just went and sewed, and it's sewed in a circle. You just want to be very careful. Take your time. Don't go so fast. And then once you have that all sewn, you can just make sure that it fits on the armrest. And this is just a lot of maneuvering and pulling and making sure that it's just going to fit right. Because like you said, like I said before, you don't want to overcut or undercut. That's why the extension pieces I think are very important. And then the arms all done. So you did it twice. And now all of my pieces are ready to be stapled down. Okay, so we're going to work in the order. We're gonna work backwards, basically. This piece came off last, so you're gonna put this piece on first. Like I said, working in backwards order because the back came off first and this came off last. So to rebuild, you have to work backwards. All right, now this is optional, but actually I use these upholstery needles to put like, I, I wanna call it a place marker, but it's just a stitching really, so the fabric will not shift when you are stapling it. And this is, I didn't know, I've never done this part before, but this is actually how the couch came. When I took it apart, I saw these threads, and at first I wasn't gonna do it, but I see the benefit of it now. Um, it just really helped, you know, keep this, keep it straight so it didn't shift. So I'm glad I did this. And if you have a couch like this, just go ahead and do this extra step. It's going to be so worth it. All right, once that's done and see right now, it's no, no shifting involved. Um, I'm going to go ahead and staple down the fabric to the bottom of the couch. And on the inside, I'm going to pull the fabric up. Don't pull down because you still have some work to do. Pull upward so it can be out of the way. Actually, I am so lying. I, this was wrong. I ended up having to do this over. Do not do it. Pull downward. <laughs> pull downward. I repeat, pull downward for that part. And then you want to do the same with your fabric on the inside. Just go ahead and pull that upward and then go ahead and put the inside arm piece on next. Feed all of your fabric through. And see the extension part that would have been fabric if I would have cut it out in fabric, it just been a waste of fabric. And that means you have to buy more fabric because you have to have all these excess pieces. So I just push the extension part pieces through Make sure everything fits again, and then it's time for stapling. So as always, you're just going to pull, and you're going to staple. And definitely make sure that it's smooth so you don't get any wrinkles. I pulled the crap out of this because like it was fitting a little funny, but most of the time you just have to make it fit. It's all about just making it fit. Pulling as tight as you can, stapling it down, pulling again, and making it as tight as you can. And it will smooth out the tighter you pull it. All right, and so now the back piece is all stapled down. Now it's time to work on the front a little bit. So there's some extra uh, pieces that you wanna just go ahead and staple down with it to make that arm just really tight and crisp. And you wanna take that fabric right underneath, that's like, like in the crease. Go ahead and get your staple gun and start stapling that down as well. And go ahead and pull the bottom. You also want to think about working in opposites. So don't work it like in a circle. Work top to bottom, left to right. 
top to bottom, left to right, or left to right, top to bottom. That's so you won't have any wrinkles or any fabric pulling on type of crazy way. So now we're going to work on like the ruching. You just want to pull the back of the arm together and just create some nice little creases. They don't have to be perfect, but you know, um, create some nice little creases so that can just really be hold tight. All right, and now it's time to put on the back seat portion. We're almost done, guys, almost. So you just want to spread everything out, put in your extension pieces, pull it through to the bottom, top, sides, all that jazz, and making sure that it's even. So I'm going to go ahead and start stapling the top to the edge of the couch. And the back pieces, the extension pieces in the back also got stapled down as well. And now the bottom, you want to pull this tightly and not too tight. Well, my couch had a little gap, but um, and I had to end up having to do it again. But um, just pull very tight so it could be nice and smooth and just go ahead and start stapling. All right, guys, that's it. Stay tuned for part four of reupholstering a couch. You're almost done, guys. Hang in there. You are almost done. Part four coming up next. <laughs>